Brian Hamlet with NewMediaWorkshop.tv. And a question we get asked often is, how do I add those social media sharing buttons to my WordPress website? I mean, providing the ability to share your content is a powerful way of spreading your knowledge, your expertise, and your information across many different social networks like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And that potentially attracts new fans, new followers, new prospects, hey, and even new customers to your websites. But how do you get those buttons on your website and how hard is it? Well, the answer is you'll have them on your site and live in less than five minutes. It's that easy. So let's show you how to do it. Now what we're gonna do, what you need to do, is go to your WordPress website. We're gonna go to our demo website that we use for all our tutorials. And what you need to go to is the login for your administration console. So if you do not know that direct address, it is your domain name .com .net .biz forward slash WP admin. And it will bring you to the login screen. So you're gonna log in with a username and password. Now we're looking at our WordPress dashboard. In order to install this plugin, we need to go down to the plugin option and click on add new. Now, once we get to this page, we're actually gonna search for the plugin we're gonna install. Now, one thing to note, there are literally hundreds of social media sharing plugins for the WordPress system. The one that I'm gonna show you is what I would consider the basic, the easiest one for you to install and set up for any WordPress or website uh, beginner. If you're not familiar with how to set this up or you've never tried this or even installed any plugin in your WordPress website before, this is gonna be the easiest one for us to use. So what I want you to search for is share this. All one word. That's actually the name of the service provider that created the share this uh, social media sharing module for your website. Now, here's one thing I wanna make sure to point out. You'll notice the rating is actually only three stars. It's the very first option we're gonna install. Don't let that fool you. I have used this plugin on many WordPress websites and it's never given me any issues. Typically what I've read about in the comments that led up to a three star rating come from individuals that are more advanced or want more advanced functionality in terms of the design, in terms of the layout, in terms of the social networks that they can actually manually add to that. So in terms of just being able to share to the most common social networks, it's still a great plugin to use. So what we're gonna do first is click on this details link. And there's a reason I wanna do this. We could have just clicked on the install now link, but I want you to look at this view that actually outlines the plugin that you're gonna be installing. It gives you all the description on the left, but what we wanna look for is here on the right. And it says what version of WordPress we need to use this plugin. So as long as you have version 1.5 of WordPress or higher, this plugin will work fine for you, which you should have that. We're now on version, uh, at the time of this video, 3.3. So you really should have something, even version two or higher. So as long as you have the correct version, we're gonna click on the Install Now button. And this is actually gonna go through the process of downloading the files, putting them in the correct location, and then provide you this link as long as you see successfully installed to activate the plugin. Now here's something important to note. Once we activated the plugin, we can go ahead and uh, configure the settings for it, but also note it immediately turns it on to your website with the default settings. So even if you did not change anything on your website, with the default settings, it will show these social media networks as well as being able to share by email and some of the sharing options that Share This provides. Also automatically adds this to all your posts and all your pages. However, you may not want that. You may want to configure it a little more specific to how you would like to use it on your website. So to do this, we're going to go down to the settings menu and select our option for Share This. Now on this page, the first thing we're gonna be presented are the different layouts that they have for this plugin. So as I click to scroll, I can see my options are for just the small little icons. These are 16 by 16 pixel icons with no text explaining what the social network is. Or I can have the regular size, which is basically still the 16 by 16 icons, but actually putting text beside it so that people understand what they're clicking. If your audience is not familiar with a Facebook icon or the Twitter icon, you may want to select this option if you want to keep the small icon look. 
Now, if we click over again, we can just do the straight share this button. Now, what this one actually does, I'm going to show you on the front end, is whenever you're over the share this icon, it opens up and allows you to select any of these from one window. So instead of having all these individual icons, you may just want one icon to share this icon and then let them select which one they want to use. But in our case, we're going to continue to look at the various options that they have. Now they also have the vertical count. With a vertical count, you're actually looking at a larger icon for each that shows the count, the number of times it has been shared, this particular article, on the social media network. So it's a great way of showing how many times your articles have been shared, which sometimes can prod other people to share this on social networks as well. If they see an article that's got over 100 times being shared on Facebook and maybe 500 times on Twitter, it may encourage them to share it as well because obviously other people found this as a really good tool or a really good article that they're reading. Other option that we have is the horizontal count. Now this uses those same size buttons, a little bit larger than the 16 by 16s, but it actually puts the count smaller to the right hand side. And then our other option are just the large icons. Now the large icons, these at this point, I believe are 32 by 32 pixels. And you can notice there's no text beside it. So again, people are gonna have to know what these icons mean in order to know which one they're selecting. And then we're back to our button selection. Now what I'm gonna do for simplicity's sake is I'm actually going to select the vertical count buttons because I really like the look of having the numbers above that. Now we also have the option here of including the Facebook like button and the Google plus button. You'll notice there's an option here for Facebook sharing. Now that will share the article to your uh, viewers or the person who's trying to share this to their personal Facebook profile. However, it's not exactly the same thing as a like. Uh, whenever someone shares this, they can post their personal comment of what they thought about the article. When someone just wants to like an article, it just posts to their profile on Facebook that they like the article with a link to it. So you can decide whether or not that's important to you. In our case, I'm gonna add the Facebook like so you can see what it looks like. Same with the Google Plus. If you're familiar with a new social network, Google Plus, you can select that option, add their button into the uh, different options that people have to share your article too. Now what we're going to look at here is what version of the widget we want to use. When it talks about multi-post, it's what allows that larger view that you've seen where someone can select to share this and actually share this to more than one social network. And the way it does that is by each one of these they click on, it requires them to log in and it actually connects them to their social networking account. And then I can post one comment here and let it be shared out to all these different social networks that I select. Or you can use what is considered the more classic setup. And in the classic setup, all it's gonna do is give them singular options. In each one of these they click on, they can share to, but if they wanna to share to another, they have to click on that one as well. So it's a little more difficult for someone to share to multiple networks simultaneously, but still gives them a lot of options to work with. I'm gonna leave it set for multi-post. Now, if you wanna change the order of your social media buttons, you know that you'd rather have maybe Twitter first or maybe uh, have email last, which is what I'm gonna show you how this works. Just select the item. Notice they are all comma separated. And we can actually control X and then control V, make sure I've got a comma in between my options. And this will allow us to rearrange the order of how the buttons are gonna appear. Now this plus one, is equal to Google plus one button. So I'm actually gonna move these towards the front. I wanna have my Facebook first. I wanna have my Facebook like second. I'm gonna have my plus one button, my Twitter button, then the share this option, then the email. So this is how you can actually change the order of the buttons themselves. And you'll just wanna make sure that you've got a comma in between each one of these. Now you're likely not gonna to wanna to change any of these settings here. If you are a web developer or you understand HTML, you may wanna play around with these options that actually affect the layout and the code that's being used. For any beginner, don't even touch that code. Same thing here if you wanna to click to modify any of the widget options that it gives you. This allows you to make some changes, but again, you really have to know what you're doing in order to do that. Now your publisher key is automatically given to you, so you do not need to touch that code. The last options we wanna look at is to have the share this function, the share this plugin module 
appear automatically on your WordPress post. Now remember, WordPress by default has post pages typically used when you're blogging and then your actual standard pages when you're writing static content like your About Us page or your Contact Us page. So you can actually decide if you want this to automatically appear on those pages. In the sake of our website, I just want to show them to you on the post. So I'm going to set my pages to No and leave my post set to Yes. Once I've completed all these settings, I'm going to click the Update Share This Options. And what this is going to do, I'm going to go back to the front end of the website and click my refresh. So now you can see we've got the change where we're showing. I had the option where I wanted to show the number of times it's been shared above each of the buttons. Notice my order is exactly what I set it for. The Facebook share, the like, the Google Plus, the tweet for Twitter, the share button, and sharing it via email. I could again go back and change any one of these options if I wanted to go back and use a much simpler setup. Maybe I wanted to go for the horizontal view. Click update share this options. I'm going to come back and refresh let you see this. And now it's changed it for the horizontal view. Now one thing that you notice me select is I did not want to show it on my static HTML pages. So notice here this is a sample page just a standard WordPress page not a post but a static page and the share icons do not display here. So this is how easy it is to actually install these social media sharing icons to your WordPress website or blog. And again, they will automatically appear wherever your post appears. So you never have to worry about adding this code one by one to every single one of your posts. It's that easy. Now, if you had any trouble installing this plugin or you've got any questions about how to use it, feel free to drop us a comment below. And again, this is another video tutorial by newmediaworkshop.tv.